Number 13 in our list, the LSU Tigers. I think they are significantly better on the defensive side with, with Blake Baker calling plays and being their defensive coordinator. I don't know how much better they've elevated a, a couple of guys on the staff to be coordinators. So I don't know what they're going to do there. The Garrett Nussmeyer era is underway. They've got a bunch of big name pieces that they got to replace. This is an interesting team. We know LSU can recruit. We know Brian Kelly can coach, but they've got a lot of question marks. And I think 13 is about right for them. Plenty of upside, but a lot of questions. Yeah, I think let's start with the defense because last year it was awful and there's a chance it could be one of the most improved groups in the country yeah. just by simply changing out a few coaches. They hired Blake Baker from Missouri, Bo Davis from Texas to be the defensive line coach, a couple other additions too. A much improved defensive staff. There are some questions though about this group up front because they're losing Mason Smith, Makai Wingo, um, and the secondary still a concern, but I think they're going to be better just by changing the coordinators and all that. The offense is bound to take a step back, though. I mean, they it's average, you know, the, where they did like 40-something points a game and losing Jaden Daniels, Brian Thomas, Malik Neighbors. They're going to take a step back. On the positive side, though, the offensive line should be very good, and they have Garrett Nussmeyer, who has played well in limited action. It has not been over a full season, but if, you know, he started the bowl game, looked good. I, their offense is going to be, I think, pretty explosive again. And Joe Sloan, their new play caller, everybody raves about him uh, behind the scenes there. So I don't think the offense is going to suffer a ton. It won't be as 46 points a game productive, yeah. but maybe you make that up by being better on defense this year. Yeah, a lot of talent, to... obviously, in Baton Rouge, as always. Sloan, the quarterback's coach, he's being elevated. He, he they are, They're not going to be the number one scoring offense in – the SEC in the in the, in, uh, in the nation, I should say, right. but they're not going to be the dead last defense in the SEC. So yes, uh, they will be an average to slightly better than average defense. And if they're just a top five offense, they still might replicate 10 wins, which could get them into the playoff. That 10 win number, man, it's magic. It's magic. Now 